Hi Stampers! Today we'll be making this card and we're doing the technique uh, called picture frame. It's just such a simple technique but really pretty. Let's get started. First of all we'll be using uh, these two stamp sets. One is Best Birds which is continuing on into the 2017-2018 catalog as well as Garden in Bloom. And we're just using this one flower out of Garden in Bloom. First of all, we will be... I'm using the thick white cardstock because it helps the frame stay a little more firm. <clears throat> and then we need the paper piercing mat. And it, because um, the bird is on photopolymer and it's such a big image that I don't want it to miss any of the parts. <clears throat> I'm using the archival gray ink. We'll ink it up pretty good. And when using the archival pads, they can get this little ridge like this, so you have to use the entire pad to ink up your image. And we're going to put the bird about halfway, kind of on and kind of going up <clears throat> like that. Next is the branch, and we're going to be c covering up his feet a little bit like so, and then we'll do the flowers next, but I'm not doing it on this pad because I don't have paper on it, and they don't really need it. So, I will do it this way. Oop, I need ink. Okay, so I'm just going to stamp a couple flowers on there. Oh. Rats. Well, it's going to have extra little oomph on the flower. <clears throat> Otherwise, I would turn it over and start over, but right now I'm not. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to color it. I'm using um, Calypso Coral for the breast part, and that we're just going to do a couple little swishes, and on each of these flowers, we're just going to put a little bit of the Calypso on there. This one we'll see what happens. Then we'll use a little Daffodil Delight on the center of the flowers. And you'll notice that I'm just randomly coloring it in. I'm not really going detailed yet. For the bird I'm using Bermuda Bay. One swoosh on his head and two to three swooshes on his tail. The leaves I'm doing Old Olive. Again, you can see I'm not really coloring them a solid image. And then the branch, just kind of go down the center. And we take our blender pen, and for the bird, um, I'm just going to go in a circular motion. That really works a lot better. And it gives them the breast, wipe off the color. And if I were to go like this, you can see that kind of leaves a line, so when you go in circular, it spreads it out better. So that's when I say circular, why I, why I say it as well. Simple coloring. Oops. Didn't get it all off. This will definitely be a sample card. <laughs> And then I'm wiping it off in between each color, just wiping until it's clear. A little bit more. The leaves. And then continuing with the circular. And lastly, the brown. Okay, 
here it's a little harder to go circular because it's so small. There, that's all we have to do. I'm going to wipe it off real quick here. Okay. <clears throat> the next step is putting on the framelits. I'm using the layering squares framelits and I'm taking the biggest one of the scallop and the second biggest one in this bunch of the square. So I have them right here. And basically we're going to be putting it on the big shot, or running it through the big shot. I'll do it on the plate so you can see. Alright, so this will be like this. This is the magnetic plate and just putting it about an inch down from the top and about an inch and a quarter on the bottom. Putting it right in the center of the the two of them and so it's nice and straight. And I'm gonna, oh and then you need the top plate like this and I'll go run it through the big shot. And this is what you come out with. At this point, I'll be stamping on the sentiment, and this this one I'm using Thoughts for You. The reason we don't do the sentiment until now, because we're not quite sure where we'll be um, cutting it through. It stamps really nice. Then we'll take our card base, and it's just a standard card, and picking this up, and we're going to put adhesive on the top and the sides of the outside of it. And then we're also going to put adhesive on the center piece, but not the scallop piece. So, if it falls off, that's okay. And normally they don't stay together this well, um, so you have to do each piece. So we're putting it on, putting in the center piece, taking out the scallop, so that's what it looks like now. And then we're going to take the uh, foam, the foam um, adhesive strips. And this is how they come, two sheets, and I cut them down for the classes so that they would fit and they didn't have to cut them. So that's what we're going to use. And we're just going to put these oops, on the four sides. The corners aren't really necessary. You can go up to the corners, but it doesn't doesn't have to be real snug against it. It's not a shaker card where things would fall out. <clears throat> like so. Take off the stickies. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. There we go. And then we'll set this in there. Make sure you have it going the right way um, to follow the pattern. And you have to be careful because it's once it sticks, it sticks. So you want to line it up before you press it. So I'm lining it up all four sides. And press it down. And you have your frame. It just such, leaves such a beautiful card, but yet simple. So thanks for watching and have a great day.